Hi. Have you ever wondered how can I do the online assessment properly? How can I possibly run a vocab games where the students won't be cheating? How can I possibly give even the sixth former some fun with a whiteboard games? Today, I would like to share with you a ready-to-use online whiteboard app. Which does not require login. I will also share with you some possible pitfalls that you may experience with this whiteboard. I will also suggest a few feasible vocab games on this whiteboard and give extension activities to the more able learners. Your interest is watch on. As you can see now, I'm at whiteboard five. It is really easy. I basically will just create a new class, and then when I created the new class, so that's made the new class. Um, the teacher's name five cm, and the students can just copy and this link, and they enter their name. I suggested that um, they enter their just four first two alphabets just for privacy issues. And they can enter the classroom. After they enter enter the classroom, you can see there is a students board and the my teachers board. So on on students board, um, he can then write his answer my board. So now this is the the poss possibly the biggest problem with um this whiteboard. You have to make sure when you write something in text, enter it. So it is not in the box because if it's in still in the text box you are writing, it won't show on、um, the other side's board. And you can see that when he types,、um, it shows in my board、um, about five seconds delayed. And the good thing about this whiteboard is that all the students will not be able to see each other's answer, but only you can see everybody's answer. Now I'm trying to give some comments, so I say well done again. Make sure you click the text box, so it's not on the text box again. And then the student board will show well done, but again it's about three seconds delay. So you that's something you may want to watch out for. The next one I want to do is I want to show you the handwriting tool. I would suggest to ask the student to. Handwrite very big, and I will explain to you later why. Again, you will see my answer slightly delayed. Now I also want to give、um, some feedback. I say 很好 I also handwrite with really big fonts, just to make sure they can see very well. Uh, one thing you may need to be aware of, and maybe tell the students, is that、uh, when there are more than ten people in the classroom, it becomes、uh, the whiteboard has to become smaller.、Um, so you may want to ask all the students to write super big characters. Yeah, this is my year eleven doing some extension tasks like finding out the vocab from the text. The text is based on Chinese AS,、uh, the health,、uh, the teenagers' health problems. They basically just pre-learn it and test them, and they absolutely love it. You can also try to use a dictionary. You can say, for example, this article is about teenage health problems. All right, so how about if you draw 睡眠 then they draw sleeping, and you can see here I ask them to draw 肥胖 so they draw. Like、uh, people are being fat, I ask them to draw strong, and you can see like they're drawing for working out. So it's great fun. They really love it, and because they can't see each other's answers, so they definitely don't know that you are watching everybody's reaction. What I would also suggest is by the end of the lesson, I would ask them to take turns to draw their board, and everybody else guess what they are drawing. They love seeing other people's drawing. The other good part. Benefits of this whiteboard app is that it does not interfere with a Zoom app at all, so you can switch back and forth without a problem. The following example is based on my real upper six students' lessons. We have done the syllabus, so now we are doing some extension reading. I actually found this quotation, and I cannot agree more. It says, "Lexical retrieval: the chunks of 
over single words. The L2 research has shown that making use of formulaic expressions and memorizing long chunks of text is far more efficient and effective than learning to assemble new linguistic strings in process of language production. This indicates the need for students to analyze a whole context instead of traditional vocab learning. Building vocab through a large chunk of reading is double the efficiency and efficacy. The reason why I chose this text is because it has the cultural reference, it has an enrichment of description, but at the same time, it's not impossible to understand. Before we play the games, the students have already read through the background. Now, the whiteboard games I would suggest is, um, first of all, find the equivalent in Chinese. I may say to embrace. Then they will have to write yong bao. And the second one is to find the sentence. I give quite a lenient approach, so they only need to include the first two and the last two characters. It doesn't take so much time. With all these games, it probably takes about two minutes per question to answer. The third one is to find the grammatical construction of progressive, or to find the grammatical construction of past time frame, or to find the grammatical construction or comparative yeah number four list the people on the boat uh, so this is sort of factual questions but it's still testing the students to separate the components from the descriptives number five six seven are quite sort of list checking because with all these check they kind of construct an image in their head about what this is about we also have a nine ten adjectives that are describing whether or describing people or the five objects that have been personified because as we know if something is to be personified again a way to describe an object i hope you find the video really useful now i have created quite a few videos for teachers of different levels however if there's anything that you don't think i have covered please comment down below and let me know what you would like to know next I will try to make it in my schedule for you. Press like or subscribe to my channel. See you next time. 再见!